Hey y'all. Uh, first, before we start, I'm gonna drag this intro out. Am I feeding my coke addiction? Uh, done some Zeppelin tunes lately. Wanted another one. Got the Jimbo shirt on, so. Gotta do that. And, yes, again, I'm gonna annoy the people who obviously don't know there's a fast forward button on YouTube. Uh, let's do a little uh, YouTube roulette. And we're gonna pop in. Zeppelin backing track. And the first one that I haven't already done is the third one on the list. And it is guitar backing track for Black Dog by Led Zeppelin Tribute. Uh, which must mean that there's a vocal on it. <laughs> chicken picking tone for this one, but <laughs> we're on a PV, the, the heavier distorted ones live between like 7 o'clock and 11 o'clock. <laughs> Sure we're in tune with this thing and I want to hear the first break because there's there's a thing on the brakes. Let's let's listen. They're doing the breaks like the live version, so which I assume that means the end of this will be something like the live one where they would go to G and then D or something like that and then end on the A. But uh, the, the, the thing is on that, the thing on the breaks. On the live ones, it's easy to play along with and follow because uh, they just sort of did whatever, whenever plant ended the vocal, the next beat would be them coming in all together, all three of them. Uh, that's easy, simple. It didn't matter how long, I mean, Plant could have like paused and scratched his nose and then sang the line, it wouldn't matter. Whenever he's done, that's when they come in. The studio one, to me, sounds different. The count is different, and if you try to play along with studio one, I don't know, maybe, you'll, maybe it won't be difficult for you, but, but coming in when they all come in, it's hard. Um, if you listen close, there's a couple of things on the breaks. Yes, this is a long intro, so suffer through. Uh, a couple of things on the breaks. One, on some of the breaks, not all of them, but on some of them, right before the, the band comes back in, after Plant does the last word, you know, of each little vocal break, some of them, not all of them, but sometimes coming through, you can hear one last click of Bonzo sticks, and then they come crashing back in. So to me, that says, okay, they had trouble getting the timing right, too, in the studio. So once, the, so Bon just was clicking and through, counting out, he probably has a click track in his ear. He's counting out for Jimmy and Jonesy, and then they know when to come back in. Whatever the count was, they just count that number of clicks, they come back in. Um, so that, that's different from the studio one, the style, from the live one. The live ones, they just eliminated that all entirely, the, the need for the timing thing, and just all came in after the last word. And that's what they're doing here, you can tell. The other thing on the breaks is, if you listen, it's weird that Black Dog came up because in, I think, since I'm 11, one of the, one of the Zeppelin ones, somebody asked, um, does it, does, was the guitar, were the guitars through a Leslie? I, I think the solo was, but the, the rhythm ones, and I know this part because there's a, was it Andy Johns or Glenn Johns that did Zeppelin before? I think Andy. Uh, there's an interview with him where he talks about it. They, they did like three guitar tracks for the rhythm part and they were direct into the board. So you can really overload it to get that uh, valvey kind of uh, distortion to the board. Uh, just from overdriving it. And, uh, but, but anyway, when it goes to the uh, 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 that, that break is a little bit longer than the other ones. And so as the, yeah, there's sustain on Jimmy's Les Paul, but it doesn't last forever. So as the note is dying down and decaying, you can hear they're potting up the level 
on that guitar or those guitars so that the note will last longer and sort of ring all the way through that uh 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 at the very end it it's just starts to feed back <laughs> before they come crashing in so they they were slowly as the guitar note is dying out they're pumping it up until they finally got to the point of feedback at the end of it. So anyway, fascinating stuff for all you uh, Zeppelin minutia freaks. So uh, the thing is, I'm trying to think if I've, I don't think I've ever played this guitar solo, as, which will be evident in about four and a half minutes probably. Uh, but it starts with this. Something like that. Uh, distortion hides a multitude of sins, of course. But then again, I ain't Jimmy Page. So, uh, and we're all friends, right? Let's go through this one. We're going to wing it, and we're going to see Led uh, Zeppelin, Black Dog. You can hear from the very first line why Plant rarely tried to sing it like he did the studio one, because, will you move? This guy can't hit that note.
around uh, 81, 82, if you ever watched the arms tour, the arm videos on YouTube, well that's 83 I guess, probably the, uh, the rock bottom of Jimmy's playing. Uh, and I, I'm a worshiper of Jimmy Page, don't get me wrong. But there's that, I think it might be Cow Palace is the one that uh, is particularly off. But watch the versions of uh, Layla from the Arms Tour shows. <laughs> and Jimmy's doing the uh, Dwayne's slide parts on his B-Bender. And uh, it, it's just so, so bad. Maybe when if you were there that night and it's going through the PA system. But the, the raw sound that's on the, the video of it is terrible. And Jimmy was way out, out of pitch. And there are a few moments there where it shows Clapton and he's sort of giggling and he and Beck are exchanging some some looks because they're like, oh man, what the hell is coming out of Jimmy's guitar? Um, but the reason I point that out is because the way I played the solo sounds like Jimmy was playing that night. <laughs> so, <laughs> for, for proper context, <laughs> if they had done Black Dog on the Arms Tour at the Cow Palace in 83, it might have sounded something like that. Uh, so on my best day, uh, I'm about 1% of Jimmy on his worst day, <laughs> so, which is, a, for me, that's a good enough ratio I can live with. It. Uh, anyway, so we've kind of beaten Black Dog to death, uh, Black Horse to death, uh, and that is a uh, YouTube roulette for this go around. Maybe next time I'll put on a, a Dwayne Allman shirt and we'll do an Allman Brothers, <laughs> Allman Brothers roulette. Good luck.